This is Ian Clement with uh, Trimble, and today we're going to be looking at uh, fitting defaults as part of our Duct 101 pre-training series. Obviously, different fittings obviously can have various parameters, various um, uh, settings on them. We have to provide them initially with a default set, and what I want to look at today is setting your own defaults. So, for example, uh, square elbow. Uh, you, know, you may prefer to have four-inch throats or six-inch throats. Uh, the throats are obviously infinitely variable uh, once you place them. Uh, but if your shop standard is typically have, let's say, a six inch throat as a default or preferred length, you can do things like that. So we're going to take a look at some of the fittings here. There's not generally many to do. Um, you know, this covers probably the vast majority of them, but obviously you can add them. Now, you can uh, open up the families to access the defaults from file open family and browse to them uh, generally i find a quicker way of doing it is to actually just place one off the menu so i'm going to basically place a rectangular elbow by clicking left clicking on it and just sticking in the model somewhere right click cancel right click cancel so you're doing that twice or oh, that's two escape keys essentially that's telling um revit you're finished so now siskiu jumps in and overpopulates that um, based off your settings off there now I've got the fitting in there. If I want to actually edit that, I can either click it once to select it, and then you'll notice the context ribbon. I've got edit family there. I can actually double click, get to the same place. I'm going to use the select it once and edit family. These both got the same place, whether you double click it or uh, select it and then edit family. So this is taking you into the family editor for this particular fitting. Um, now from here, we're looking at a default view. Don't don't be concerned what you're actually looking at here doesn't really matter uh, but if you go up to the uh, family types uh, um, button up here which is the little four square thing click on there this is basically showing you all the parameters we've got and what their current values are now a lot of them you can change any of these but ultimately uh, in this case what we're actually looking at are the extension one extension two uh, that's the in and the out. So our default as has been shipped is two inch. So that's nah, not very good. Uh, yeah, our shop prefers six inch. So I'm going to set both of these to six inch. Now you can get really fancy and actually do things like uh, formulas for this. So potentially you could have this, whereas if the width is uh, less than 12, for example, I want to have a four inch throat or extension. Uh, but if it gets larger than uh, 12, I would have a 6-inch extension. So uh, we leave that up to you. We don't sort of stop you doing things like that. It's obviously how comfortable you are with Revit itself. And so if you remember, any of these can be changed in the actual model. So this is just your starting value. So once you've got these set, if I hit the OK, that updates my default values. And you can see that it actually grows in the picture. Um, I'm going to load that into my project and close it. And it's going to ask me about saving it. Now, it doesn't matter whether I say yes or no to this save command. In the model I'm currently in, 6 inch will now be my default. Where it does matter is if I say yes, that means it will be 6 inch in every future project as my default. If I say no, it'll be 6 inch only in this currently open project so for this scenario i'm actually going to say no but this potentially could get used for uh, project specific defaults using no uh, but say if my shop standard is six inch and i want that to be universal i would typically say yes to that i say for my example i'm actually going to choose no uh, with the model you're in makes no difference whether they say yes or no um but say it's just really cases that is that a universal change to six inch or is that just for this project um now you will be prompted for this and you typically want to choose the bottom one overwrite the existing version and its parameters that's the safe one to choose now it will not update any you've already uh, or any that you've already created now that one there when i drew it two inches is the default and two inches is still the default but if i grab a new one and place it you can see obviously immediately i'm going to use the right click cancel right click cancel which is say the same as the escape escape revit finishes actually placing it in the model 
and then Siski will jump in in a second and update the actual piece itself. Now, as I was saying earlier, any any fitting can have its. Um, uh, even though I start with the default, you know, I've drawn this one, and for whatever reason, I want to have a, a twelve-inch throat on one end. You can see there. There's my six and six. So I can click on here and say I want that to be twelve inches on one side. So any individual one can be changed. It's just the initial default value is what we're actually setting there. So if you leave things alone, what will you have as a default? Uh, obviously, repeat that for any any other fittings you've got. Uh, you want to modify the default on, and that will give you a good basis to actually start from. Thank you.